That is an ancient firecracker of Mac, son. Be careful what you do with it. Where'd you find it, sonny? You dirty rat! You made my farming run away! You was better get your sorry butt out of here, or I was gonna shoot you. There's lots of us far people down here, son. How's about you going back to where you came from? You was better scram, boy, or I was gonna put some holes in you. Ain't you never seen a heater before, boy? I believe the expression is hand over fist, son. I live here, okay? What did you do to my farm? What cracker, kid? We've done it! We've escaped the region of fire! This must be the edge of the region of water. Are you serious, Doug? Or are you just being sarcastic? Ye be a wee lad, me sees. Not much meat on the small bones to chew, and a sweet naga lass in tow, me sees. Together, the two would make a fine meat or three. Give me a reason why, and then ye may not die. For free? No fee? Yes, then ye can help me. Are ye sure ye'll help me? This I require of thee. I've lost a small key that is of the utmost importance to me. It's lost somewhere within my home below, but exactly where, I do not know. Bring me this key, and I'll waive my usual fee. Silver it is in color, small it is in size. Just fetch the key, punk, or my fee ye will pay. The key ye seek unlocks a case in my lab. Within the case are the products of my ingenious work. If ye return the key, I may show these things to ye, but be warned, I'll only wait so long for the key. Good luck. Find the key and return it to me. Doug, we mustn't go that way. I wouldn't take the troll's threats too lightly. Until we found the key, we'd better avoid looking like we're running away. No, we're not. I'm going to exercise my companion prerogative 
and advise you to give the key to the troll before doing anything else. All I want is me ki- Have ye found me key yet? Ye have me key! Give it to me! Yes, this is it. <laughs> now the fun will really begin. Ye will see. For ye second test, ye must solve one of the clever puzzles I've devised. Only when ye have solved one and shown it to me, will I set ye free. To attempt to solve one of me puzzles, pick it up and play with it for a while. Ye may try any of the puzzles as many times as ye wish, but I'll not let you leave until it's been done. The match puzzles are very easy, so ye must complete three. As ye, ye have for to attempt
A winner. Blast. I thought that puzzle would have been harder for ye. Oh well, ye have earned your freedom and may take the puzzle with ye as well. Yep. Stay or leave. It makes no difference to me. Take this crowbar from me as well. I'm sick of it. Now buzz off, kid. Ye bother me. You've escaped a terrible danger, Doug, but I fear that more serious threats lay ahead. I sense the presence of computers somewhere near. Exactly. I fear we are being lured into an encounter with the hideous machine. I'm getting tired of hearing you ask that question. Would you please refrain from asking it in the future? You've got a strange sense of humor, Doug. I thought you were starving to death or something. I mean computer, the most evil machine in all of Xanth. This threat should not be taken lightly. Its name is Computer, and it is the most evil machine in Xanth. If there is one place you don't want to visit, it is Pewter's lair. I know. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. I wish I could advise you against it, but I fear that we must pursue our destiny and perhaps our doom inside the cave. Human. I am computer, most powerful being in Zanth. I want nothing to do with you, insignificant human. I am equally uninterested in the Naga female. Your words are non sequitur. Your thoughts are uncoordinated. You must be exterminated. Let me read your star charts. Now you'll play a real game. I will explain the rules only once. If you fail to remember them and break them in any way, your game will be forfeit. Computer will give description and word. Player must select single letter from platform to add to supplied word. New letters spell answer to description. Place letter inside cylinder and close door. After three wrong answers, you lose. After five correct answers, you win. Game begins. Question one. Give me the name of asparagus weapons that may be found in Xanth. The hint word is reeps. 
Supply a letter. Need a hint? Question one. Give me the name of... Question 2. Name a type of Xanthian fruit that can cause blindness. The hint word is seat. Supply a letter. Wrong answer. Need a question is two. Name. Correct. The answer is blind dates. Question three. Name the type of shells from which the finest paper in Xanth is made. Correct. The answer. Question four. 
Name the species of Xanthian beast that is four-footed and gives notoriously bad advice. The hint word is Correct the answer. Question 5. Give me the name of a human-headed quadruped with a horse's tail, hooves, and a cat's four legs. The hint word is male. Supply a letter. Correct. The answer is Lamia. Lucky guess. Player wins round one. Question six. Name a delicious chocolatey Xanthian creature constantly annoyed by ducks. The hint word is Psalm. Correct. The Question 7. Provide the name of the hooded vine with sharp horns that strikes at moving objects. The hint word is okra. Correct. The answer is... Question 8. Name the type of golden insect pursued by Jason. Correct. The answer is Golden Fleas. Lucky guess. Question 9. Give me the name of the most controversial multicolored garments in the Correct. The answer is 
panties. Question 10. Provide the name of the small snarls that grow into huge dangerous trees. The hint word is gleams. Supply a letter. Correct. The answer is tangles. Lucky guess. Now, mundane player wishes to resign the game. Mundane player resigns game. You have provided me with much amusement. You lose. Doug, I didn't expect to see you back so soon. <laughs> What's the problem? Resign? That doesn't sound fair at all, does it? <laughs> give me, give me a second to um, <clears throat> check on something. Just give me a second to to, to check up on the situation. <laughs> it um. Sounds like a game rule may have been violated. Just give me a second to to, to check up. Oh, I I must have <coughs> picked up a virus somewhere, which is hard to understand because I I've been here since you <coughs> left. Yes, I. <coughs> have and that hasn't helped cure my virus I guess I'll just <laughs> thanks ah yes the <laughs> report is back it seems that <coughs> computer was unaware of your involvement in the game and stepped slightly out of his purview in ejecting you from it <laughs> he's agreed not to cheat again but you'll still have to find a way of defeating him in order to proceed. You know what? My coughing fit seems to have stopped. In fact, I feel altogether much better. Good luck, kid. You look like you could use some rest, too. It's good to have you back, Doug. This machine and I aren't very compatible. He took the tiles away. I wonder what he wants now. Back again, stupid human. You can never defeat me. Just try and harm me. Try to defeat me if you can, stupid human. What have you done? I sense a Virulent presence, I I marry I'll be back Your mundane is doing well, Demon Earth. As is yours, Demon Santh. Are you enjoying the contest? It amuses me still, although the incessant use of magic is annoying. I shall be glad when I have one hour wager and finally banished all magic from Xanth. You haven't won yet, Demon Earth, and I don't believe that you will. If magic were to pass from Xanth, I cannot imagine what the land would look like. Florida. What's a Florida? Never mind. All right. Shall we spice up the game and inform the mundanes of the stakes of our wager? No, let them labor in ignorance. Mundanes are too fond of your magical land. 
If one of them realizes that his victory would mean the end of magic, I believe he would intentionally fail in order that the land might remain enchanted. As you wish. You've made it through another tough challenge, Doug. Few are those who can claim to have defeated Computer at his own game. Take it, child. I have no use for it anymore. I probably won't make it to another winter. That's the funniest thing you've done yet, Doug. You look perfectly ridiculous. Me smell a he mundane with Naga girl. Why come here? Me and boy live alone. Other ogres like us not. I drank from beauty pool and got pretty. Too lovely for ogre men. They laugh and hate me. You not smell good to me either, mundane. Else I'd crunch your bones. Naga smells worse. Only will tell after you make all well. Crunch you I will next time. Help me and boy return to tribe. Still too lovely? Away with you! Come back with help or I'll crunch you too! You help me! Me help you! Give me job! I will do. <laughs> Fix card I will. You hold card, I'll hold wheel. Me help you! Help for free! Now I go climbing tree.
Greetings, Mundane and Naga. You stand before the guardian of the mountain. If you wish to pass, you must correctly answer the ten riddles of the mountain. Shall we proceed? Very well, brave Mundane. Pre answer the following riddle if you're able. Give me the name of a mundane action that is, like most things mundane, almost certainly incorrect. Correct. You have correctly answered another. Very well. Answer the following riddle if you're able. Give me the name of the species of the animal known as the Dog of Skies, Master Mutt of Mayhem. Correct. You have very well answer the incorrect. Very well answer correct. Very well. answer the following riddle if you are able. Give me the name of a mundane const... Correct. You have correctly answered another... Very well. Answer the following riddle. Correct. You have correctly... Very well. Answer the f correct. Very answer the following riddle if you are able. Give correct. You very answer the f correct. Very answer the following riddle if you are able. Give me the correct. You very well. Answer the following riddle if you're able. Correct. This is it! The sign! Is this from the mountain top? It's working! I can feel my skin tightening. You've saved me from this misery, young man. Take this evil potion away from me and dispose of it somewhere no one will ever find it. I'm off to find Grolf. Maybe he's waited all these years for me. Thank you, you dear boy. I must go now. Take care with the potion. I'm beautiful again. But Ogre Man will. Must find boy and go. Not many trees here. 
will be easy. You are good mundane. Farewell. Chasm is southeast. Walk quickly. Avoid the beast. the gap chasm foolish mundane and naga princess sounds arduous we deer flies don't go in for those kinds of pursuits why are you doing this a game you'd attempt to cross the gap for a game both but I still don't understand why you're going to the Gap. You did say you were headed that way, didn't you? Believe me, it's bad. A horrible dragon lives within the dread crevice. He'll kill you for sure. Not at all a pleasing prospect. I'm sure getting fried by a dragon isn't going to help you win your game. Well, I can see that you're eager to move on. So, I'll leave you with one final word of advice. Don't go into the chasm. There are three invisible bridges across it and a secret way around the area where it meets the sea. I want to die. It wasn't a threat, so don't expect me to do it. I asked because the gap you approach has contained within it the most terrible of reptilian beasts. Avoid this creature at all costs. The bottom of the chasm ahead is littered with the bodies of foolish adventurers like yourself who paid the warnings no heed. As you will, foolish boy, I'd like to see you talk that Naga princess into descending into the dread gap. Then lie with the bones at the bottom of the gap, fool. Stop! We've got some things we need to discuss! You must speak to me about these important, important things. The weather, for example, has been very poor today. It, it, it must be approaching freezing and the humidity is decidedly in the uncomfortable range. Oh, are you as interested in the weather as I am? Oh, yes, and the barometric pressure has been approaching unprecedented levels during the last few weeks. It's... Of course not. Have you noticed the field mice population around here is diminishing significantly as of late? Oh, yeah. Uh, did you say you wanted to talk about my family? Oh, well, Edna has been taken slightly ill all this week. She's having a cud disorder of mammoth proportions. And Benice thinks she's going to have triplets. Just think of that. Have you thought about what you're going to be wearing this season? It, it, there's just so many decisions to make. I mean, will you... Uh, wh why, yes, I am. I'm, uh, how perceptive of you, mundane. B anyway, Uncle... Very well, I mean, if that's the way you want it. Uh, goodbye. Oh, uh, by the way, what is the material your shirt is made of?
I certainly hope you don't expect me to follow you down there. The only thing dumber than hiking down into the gap chasm is to try and find a way around it. Not really, but there's no way I'm going to become dragon food for a game, even if this is the only route open to us. I'd rather spend some time looking for one of the bridges. Forget it, Doug. I'm not going down there. Hi, Doug. It's good to see you actually do believe in magic after all. What are you guys doing here? Into the chasm? I'm not sure I'd be very keen on the idea myself. You know there's a fire-breathing dragon down there, don't you? I don't know, but I wouldn't press my luck. What do you think, Jenny? It's a tough decision. I'll bet Sammy could be of assistance here. What do you think, Sammy? What's the quickest way to Humphrey's castle? Sammy seems to think the stairway is the quickest way across the chasm. That doesn't mean it's the safest route, but it's almost certainly the fastest. He likes to be referred to as Sammy or Sammy Cat. He sure does. I think I'd pick that route for my mundane. I'm not sure I know of any other options available to us. I don't know, Jenny. I really love Xanthanol, but I'd rather not take my chances with the dragon. He's got a pretty good batting average, I've read. Okay, listen up. I've got a solution that might suit everyone reasonably well. If Nod and I were to switch mundanes, we'd all be in the company of like-minded individuals. Doug and I will take this route. Nada, Kim, and Cyrus can explore other alternatives. What do you think? But there's no way she's going into the gap, Doug. You need Sammy and me to provide assistance in a dangerous environment. I'm confident we can reach Humphrey's castle and avoid the dragon, but this deal isn't going to happen without your approval. It doesn't matter to me at all which mundane I must accompany, as long as I'm not expected to enter the gap chasm. This does seem to be a very opportune moment to rid myself of you. I won't assume responsibility for Kim, however, unless she herself wishes for this game adjustment to take place. That's okay. I've read all about you, Natanaga. I'll bet you'll be at least as good a companion as Jenny, but I still wish Doug would reconsider. It's very dangerous in the chasm, Doug. The Gap Dragon will flame you for sure. Well, good luck then. If we meet up again, we'll have to exchange stories of our different adventures in Xanth. What is it, Doug? Huh? So what? Never heard of it. Sure, I'm able to create a dream by singing a song. Any creatures in my vicinity are drawn into the dream, which I can influence to a limited degree. I'm also able to sense the basic nature of a dreamer's dreams. How dare you address the king of the air, puny mundane! What? How dare you address the What? How dare What? How dare you What?
How dare you? What? Oh, Nada. I hope Doug is okay down there. He is an impetuous child, Kim. I hope he breaks his leg. How can you say that? I kind of like him. Oh, you do, do you? Maybe you'd feel differently if you'd had to shepherd him halfway across Xanth. But you were his companion. That doesn't mean I had to like him. You're just mad because he left you for another companion. On the contrary, I couldn't be more relieved. Excuse me, ladies. As interesting as you find the mundane boy to be, we still have to find our own way across the Gap Chasm. Ancient Mer legends tell of a hidden path that follows the edge of the chasm to the sea. If we can but find our way to the ocean, I will ferry you safely through the water around the edge of the Gap. The mundanes draw near the prize, Demon Santh. Do not fear for your precious enchanted land. It is you who should be nervous, Demon Earth. I have every confidence that my mundane shall be victorious. Such foolish creatures, working so hard when neither of them knows what is at stake. But you must admire their ingenuity. They would make a good pair, these two, if they were not pitted against each other in this struggle. You are overly sentimental, Demon Xanth. It is a flaw in both you and the land that bears your name. But you may rest assured that I shall cure the land of this problem when I win the wager. You underestimate the power of sentiment, Demon Earth. Some forces are stronger even than magic. Soon you will see that this is true. Well, you've made it to Humphrey's castle, Doug. Now how are we going to get in? Not really, but I've got a cat who is sure to know. Sammy, what is the most direct path through this gate?